Okay, you know, you know, this one might come across as slightly better news than a lot of the others, but you know what? You're still no more reboots. Disney, no more reboots. I'm tired of this. After after what the, the couple of years of being called, you know, cousin humping, basement dwelling, man baby, ist, 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 ist. You don't like this, therefore you're ist. You know what? This is the original badass woman sort of property. You can't make alien woke. It already had a female lead that was amazing and an inspiration. Back in the day when it actually mattered to have a woman show that she could kick ass and be amazing. You know, the 70s, when that type of stuff was still relevant, when women were still kind of struggling for equality. Nowadays, to, to do something like that, to come and bring back this franchise, same thing with Terminator, is just going to annoy your core audience. Not only that, we're not bottomless wallets. We can't keep going to every single movie just because you decide that you need to make it better and more more PC and more more family friendly and more more puritanical because that's what we're doing with a lot of this stuff too. Because guess what? You're not gonna get Ripley in a panty shot in this new one because it's Disney. You're not gonna get someone like saving the day basically in her underwear because she was gorgeous and amazing and badass and it didn't matter, right? And there you know there's there's plot reasons for it too. This crap is not okay. I am so tired of reboots and remakes. And like I said, just because they're raising the ticket prices to 20 bucks a pop, just so they can get the, hit their little billion dollar number so they can show their investors, see, we're making money. This is exactly what they did in, in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, by the way. They raised the prices of all their stuff and then their attendance dropped, but their profits went up. Gee, that's because they don't care about the consumer. They want to milk every last dollar out of you and insult you while they're doing it. And that is what they're doing here again, probably in my opinion. In my opinion, let's see what they say. The Alien franchise is a mess, despite being some of the best science fiction horror films of all time, featuring an all-time iconic movie monster. Oh, and you know, Ripley. The series mythology has disappeared up its own arse. I like that word. I like that he uses that. The Raw arguably began way back in 92's Alien 3, with each film subsequent with each subsequent film getting a little worse. See, that's that's the thing. You you got one and two, that's all you really need. And they're kind of timeless having the one and two. Then came Prometheus Prometheus, an alien covenant, which threw in a load of confusing and portentious portentous. Is it supposed to be pretentious? Pseudo phil philosophy into the creature's origin story. Audience was not audience audiences were nonplussed, resulting in Covenant flopping and the franchise being on ice ever since. See, that's fine. That's fine. We don't need any more. You don't need to go. It's 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 good guys versus bad. It's simple. You can make these movies a little more simple. But no, you're gonna go and reboot it and mess it up. You don't need we don't need one. We've already got them. Now, Disney having purchased the Alien IP as part of their merger with Fox, plans to perform an Alien Resurrection. We already got it. We already had one. And it wasn't that great. We're hearing from our sources, the same ones who revealed that the Aladdin sequel was happening, which confirmed, which confirmed this week that they're poised to reboot several high-profile franchises they acquired in the Fox deal, with Alien being the biggest. So, what could this new version of the property consist of? Well, the obvious route would be to start off the basics and do a loose remake of 79 Alien. Thing is, the film is such a classic, and its excellent, excellent production design and practical effects mean it hasn't aged poorly. Exactly. You're going to reboot it and make it all CGI, and they're going to make it woke for some reason, even though the original already had a badass woman. There's no reason to do this. This is just a blind cash grab at this point. And I know if you're going to buy something, why did they, why didn't they just say, no, we're going to leave this for you. They don't have to, you don't have to own everything. It's Veronica Cartwright. <laughs> I like her. She's cool. She's in a lot of stuff. So what would this new version consist of? Well, the obvious route, and we read that, perhaps the best thing to do might be to pull the same trick as what Bloomhouse did with Halloween and make a sequel to the first film. That could be or that could be something they could do. They're not going to do it, right? I don't think they're... Because they're going to sanitize it. They're going to sanitize it. They're going to make it preachy, and they're going to take all of the soul out of it. They're going to just do the exact same thing. It's, it's going to be exactly like what they did with Star Wars. They're going to make the same movie with a bunch of new people... To destroy the legacy of the old people if they do the sequel route. 
Because that's the MO of Hollywood now. You've got to make a sequel to destroy the old, except if you're, you know, I don't know, Cobra Kai did an amazing job so far. Train Spotting actually did pretty good, but that's more of a British film. Don't, just don't. Tell, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I am, ugh, no, no to the, no, bad, bad Disney, bad. It's a bad Disney. I need a mouse trap or something. Bad Disney. See you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.